one quick tip for any beginners out there that have a tremolo equipped um, electric guitar, and that would that would be most of the um, beginner electric guitars that you see out there that are Fender style guitars. Um, there's different types of tremolos, and this is a PRS guitar, and it has basically, it's a little bit of a different shape, but basically it's a Fender style tremolo. Um, some tremolos have locking um, nuts, which are um, like Floyd Rose tremolos, and um, that's sort of a different scenario, but by far the most common one is the standard Fender style tremolo. And one thing that I see a lot of beginners doing, um, and actually it's not their fault, they come from the factory in many cases this way, is where they have the tremolo floating. And what I mean by that is, this tremolo is, basi is basically balancing uh, between the string tension, the tension of the strings pulling the tremolo this way, and the springs that are actually in the back of the tremolo. So if we um, see the picture up on the screen, you can see the back of the tremolo of the guitar, and you'll see the springs that actually pull the tremolo block, um, and that actually counterbalances the string tension. So it's sort of the springs versus the strings in terms of how this tremolo balances on the guitar. Well, one thing um, that I could never understand is why these sometimes come from the factory with them floating. And what I mean by that is the tremolo is not flush with the guitar top when it's at rest. And what'll happen if it floats, um, in many cases, um, you're gonna have dramatic tuning problems if you have a floating uh, Fender style tremolo. And the reason for that is if I were to have this tremolo just balancing between the string tension and the spring tension, if I tune one string higher, if I were to tune a string up, then what it's actually going to do is it's going to pull the bridge up ever so slightly. It'll actually just the tension of that one string being brought up, it's going to pull the bridge up a little bit. And effectively what that's going to do is it's going to make the other five strings go flat. So by tuning one string up, the other five go flat. It starts this vicious cycle where it becomes very, very difficult to get the guitar actually to stay in tune. Now the way to actually uh, fix that problem is to make sure you have enough uh, spring tension in the back of the tremolo, uh, in the back of the guitar. Make sure you have enough springs. Most come with three springs. You can put five on there. Or tighten the claw hook uh, in the back, all the way in the back of that uh, guitar tremolo um, hole in the back of the guitar. So that would actually just pull the, the tremolo flush against the top and by doing that, when you tune a string up, the other five won't be affected. And I want to mention that in some cases, um, if you really, you know, this isn't really a beginner thing per se, but as you get more intermediate or advanced, some players do prefer that. Like Jeff Beck um, tends to do that where he has a floating Fender tremolo. But it really is one of those things where you ha always have to be watching out for how your tuning is. And uh, if you're a beginner, certainly that's not something that you really want to uh, have happen in the beginning stages of learning to play guitar being in tune is so important. So just make sure you have enough spring tension in the back of the tremolo and um, make sure that when the guitar is at rest that that bridge is flush with the guitar top and your guitar should stay in tune as it should. And that's a little bit about Fender tremolos for beginners. This is Giles Martin. I'm here at Abbey Road Studios to talk about Come Together. Come Together was recorded in July 1969 as part of the Abbey Road Sessions, the last, the last album the Beatles made. So that starts with the first finger at the 10th fret of the 6th string, the 3rd finger on the 12th fret of the 5th string, and the 4th finger on the 12th fret of the 4th string. Joker, he just do 